Hello everyone, my name is Coochie Woochie and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of The Walking Dead. I am so excited to play this game, I cannot tell you. Like, to be honest with you, the whole cartoony thing, the, car the art style, that's the one. I wasn't really too keen on it, but a whole load of people kept telling me how good this game is. So, I played the demo quite a while ago, so I don't really remember what happened in it. Uh... And I never really got around to buying it, but I got it bought for me for Christmas. So, this is going to be the new game I'm going to play this year. Uh, I am, once again, so excited. Um, I'm going to do standard. Use the one, yeah. So, yeah, so I am so excited to play this game. I've heard nothing but good things from it. Uh, so, yeah, so <laughs> I am excited. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Okay. So excited. I quite like the demo. It was it was all um, choice based, and I love them type of games. Love them. Episode one, a new day. I can't remember if I played this on the demo. I must have done. Yeah, because I'm him. I'm the well? I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh, uh, you have a limited time to make a choice. Um, why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Uh, I don't know what he's done. Uh, and what then do you what say? Do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. <laughs> These are right analog sticks to take a look around, right? Oh, I love the dynamics of these types of games. Yet I wasn't too keen on the art style. But to be fair, it's different and unique. Case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. A making? What's a making boy? Um. Oh my god, what do you think? What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Oh, I can still look around. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. Oh, so I'm a teacher. Meet your okay. wife in Athens. You want to know how I see it? How do you see it, sir? Go on. What are you going to say? There's a lot sure. of their uh, police people. Go on. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Uh. Or maybe show me the wrong guy. <laughs> I, I picked her. Maybe she married the wrong guy. It must have not. So I'm a teacher, right? So did I do something to my wife? Did I kill my wife? <laughs> or did I beat her? Did I beat my wife? I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. 
So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Uh, man. Damn. Jesus. <laughs> man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Maybe he was slightly mental. You never know. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit oh more my hilarious, God. if I do say so. This yeah, fucking drive, lad! <laughs> oh my God, we hit something. Oh well, we're going to prison as well. I don't remember this. I do I? I think I remember this because doesn't he have a limp? I'm sure he has a limp because it was so annoying trying to get around to the house. Open your eyes, lad. You can, we can, we can look around. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. And he limps. Use the right stick to look around. Find out the car. Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? I'm still cut back here. I don't think he's okay. It looks like there's blood. How does what? Oh my god. Officer. Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Well, maybe he was. Maybe that's why he's all the way over there. What Look at the shotgun. Because that's what they do. Let's see. Uh. Uh. Da -da -da. Ooh. Shotgun. The wheel was tossed from the car during the wreck. Oh, I get it. That's the front of the car. Do I got disorientated there for a bit? What's? Oh, let's kick it. Let's kick the door. <coughs> God, he's strong, isn't he? Now climb out. Oh, this is going to I hurt. Need to drag myself out that window. Hold yourself out there. Oh, he's going to get caught by all the glass. It's like the car's giving birth to him. Okay, we're free. Except for the leg. And I doubt they've got NHS there, so he's going to have to pay for his leg. Uh, move along the car. Okay. Nine one one. Oh. So obviously he's been dragged, and obviously because this is a zombie game, he's been dragged out by a zombie. So let's just uh, pick this gun up. Oh come on! There we go. Looks empty. Oh no! <laughs> It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. So they've got to go and get the key from him. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. What was that? I didn't, was it a shell of a gun? So I can put that into the gun. I don't really remember this bit. I remember leap, limping into the house where the little girl is. Looks empty. I've got a shotgun shell. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay. Oh, oh wait. Oh no, I thought that was a uh, that shotgun shell was on the floor. It wasn't. It was just in my inventory. Officer. Oh, sir. Just uh, don't buy me while I try and pick up these keys of yours. Hopefully, you're dead. Oh. Oh, f are you meshing? Are you actually meshing? Calamity Jane. He's gonna bite you. 
Okay, maybe not. Okay, try and can we go, can we go away and just not do it on top of him? Because what if you drop him again? Are you alive, sir? Good, sir. Is that a gun? Can we get the gun? Save him. Kick him! Kick him! Run away! Why? I just get... Hey! Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Get away from me! Oh, fuck. Oh, it's crawling towards me. This is horrible. So bad. Oh my god, you're so shit. You really are so shit. Don't make me do this. Oh, I'm sorry, but uh, even if you weren't a zombie, I'd probably do this. Just so I could escape. Sorry, sir. Oh. Well. Beautiful. Can we stand up so we're not in the blood? Right. Out of the frying pan. Like shit. What the hell is this? I don't know. It's probably part of a zombie, considering this is what this game is meant to be about. Can we? Can we? Can we stand up? Or I'm meant to lock more. Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? Are you dead? You've just shot him in the face with a shotgun. Of course he's fucking dead. Oh my word. Right, how do we stand up? <laughs> okay, I'm getting... I'm stuck on, like, the easiest part. Uh, oh, okay. Is that a person? Mysterious Help! figure. Go get someone! There's been a shooting! They're gone. They don't care. Oh, okay. Uh, um. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I can hear some. Ooh. Oh my god. Run. Limp. Run. Oh, you. Oh my god. This guy is just. Please don't trip up over anything else. Oh, maybe he's gonna sit. Oh my god. Maybe he's gonna look like a zombie because he's walk. Oh my god. Oh, so he trips over every tree and branch, but he can climb up a fence fine. See, I remember this bit. This is the bit where we meet the little girl. They're fine. They're good. God, he's so shit. I can't believe how many times he tripped over. Right. Tea set. I know there's a little girl up here. I remember this from the demo. Little girly. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Well, you got up the fence fine. Why can't you get up the tree? Anybody up there? I know there's someone there. I... I... Help! I literally... See now, I'm sure we called her down and she came down. I don't remember. It was like five months ago, I think, when I played it. I think. Probably not. It's probably a lot sooner, to be honest I with you. Wonder if anybody's home. Just gonna break in as you do. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. 
Can we just open it? Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> oh dear. I wonder Hello? how I did that to me, leg. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Oh, but look, there's blood. Oh. Huh. Oh, ball of fruit. Is it real? Do you remember that, that when people have, like, fake balls of fruit? It's fake. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like... Why? Why the fuck do you have fake fruit? What's the point of fake fruit? I get fake flowers because they add, you know, a certain ambiance to the room. But fake fruit? Are you just pretending to be healthy? So that people think you're healthy and you eat all this fruit? Blood everywhere. Jesus. It's like having like a fake pie on the side to make out your bake. It just doesn't make sense. Ah, oh. My auntie used to have fake... Look at the TV. Oh, the blue screen of death. Cables out. And she had fake fruit and it just threw me. I was like, why, why is this apple like waxy and light? <laughs> that Someone makes no sense. The hood is deserted. What the hell? Huh. I wonder if this all happened while he was in the police thing. It's been him. Kid lived here. Okay, I gather from the air. Uh, oh, from the answer machine, I've got to go and answer that. First, answering machine. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. There's one left more. at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 9-1-1. We love you. We love you. We love you. So I'm guessing the sick man that he took was a zombie or he was turning. Daddy? Huh? Huh? See, this is... Where's... I remember now, there's a walkie-talkie. Where's the walkie-talkie? Is that a walkie-talkie? Laura. What? Oh. oh, okay. I thought it was a knife, hey ho. Hello? You need to be quiet. So this is Clementine. Right. This family's got an obsession with fruit. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. I don't think they're coming home. <sighs> What's your name? What's your Which name? is gonna be Clementine. I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Oh, okay, so he's Lee. Uh, how, how old are, are you? you? Eight. And you ah. alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How I'm just deserted, little girl. I'm, uh, 37. Okay. But where are your parents? Where are your parents? Which we know because they're in Savannah. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? So, what's, uh, where are you? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. So where's Atlanta? At what is it? 
Oh, hello there, mistress. How are you doing? Oh, what am I doing here? What's this? What are we gotta do here? Oh. Oh. There you are, such a dipsy doodle. Okay. Oh my god, I got concussion. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Get off me, woman. I don't need your help on falling over. I already do that myself. Oh my god, get off me, you crazy bitch. Oh my god, I could have died. So is this Sandra? Hello, Sandra. Oh, oh, it's gonna pop. Get off. Kick her, kick her in the head. Oh my god, hammer. Oh my god, it's a hammer. Beautiful, beautiful animal hammers, you can just. Yeah. Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. No? Oh, that's beautiful. Poor Sandra. I love hammers. They are the best weapon in the world. Oh. I love hammers. So do we get to keep the hammer? Yay! Oh, gosh. I ruined your favourite. Oh. It? I think so. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. Oh, could a little girl kill a person? All by yourself person? do this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Oh. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Like forever. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Uh, look for help before it goes we need dark. To find help before it gets dark. Yeah. You chose safety it's of daylight. Not yes. safe at night. Or a clever little eight-year-old girl, Clementine. Let's go. Stay close to me. Okay. Oh, that was so fun. Can we keep the hammer? Does someone have the hammer? Can we keep the hammer, please? Please, can we keep the hammer? How is it useful for so many things? Okay guys, well I think I'm going to end this for- Oh, hang on, Clementine, come back. Let me just uh, put, start that so she doesn't run off into any danger. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please leave a like or a comment in the section below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye guys.